What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Isabella Tara Tarot, back at it again. Gonna hit you with your what you need to know in this time reading. My readings are timeless, so when you see this, is simply when you're meant to see this. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the content. You know, the karma that you put out there is the karma that you get back. Mm-hmm. And if you're a hater, just hit the X at the top of your screen. It's really not that serious. Please understand that these are general messages. Not every message will be your message. Feel free to check the other placements for more insight into your situation. I'm currently accepting personals in this time. I repeat, currently accepting personals. I'm not going to have it open very long, but for the time being it is, and the link is in the description box below. I only book personals through my Etsy spiritual shop, um, and you can follow on Patreon for daily uploads. Anyways, y'all, so the energy feels really ghetto out here. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it feels really ghetto out here. Um, in other news, I'm getting the vibes of a reconciliation coming through for you guys. Um, I feel like somebody here, it's not, this is not necessary. Well, so for some of you, it may be an ex from the past, but I feel like there's somebody who you can't shake. Um, it's like you're both on each other's mind constantly, constantly. It's to the point where it's getting annoying. Mm-hmm. Like Lisa Bonet and Momo, we can get back together. Mm-hmm. Man, that man is so sexy. He's so fine. They found out it's absolutely ghetto out here. Mm-hmm. Addicted. Addicted to your love. Um, I feel like there is a, an energy around that is feeling really repetitive as well. What you need to be aware of is there's somebody here who is wanting to connect with you. I feel like it's, you're picking up on this person when you're alone in your own space. We've got alone in the world. Um, somebody can't forget you. There's something that you did or said to someone that was very unforgettable. They're having a hard time moving on. They don't want you to move on either. But this person cannot stop thinking about you. Okay? Like repetitive thoughts. Okay? Both of y'all are in isolation, so I don't know what this is about. Like... It really feels like a battle of the ego, a battle of the egos. You not wanting to reach out, them not wanting to reach out. So therefore, you're sitting at a stem still. Mm hmm Because his fingers over there are icy. And we've got 11s down there. You may be seeing 111 repetitively. <laughs> I don't wife my one night um, drama and run up and get done up. I told you. I told you, Sagittarius. I told you that when we first got on here... <laughs> it's absolutely ghetto out here. That's that's the energy of, of, of this reading. Okay. Somebody who you separated from, literally, like you're in separation from, mermaids love. I feel like you're realizing that that was the one. Okay. Um, I'm getting this energy around. You've possibly gone <laughs> with that. Uh, I don't wipe my one night. Um, I feel like you are seeing there's not. Oh, there is, you know, there's plenty of fish in the sea, but I'm getting something about there's not a whole lot out here. Um, or it's like something that you're not interested in, okay? Um, it's almost like you've learned the person or they've learned something about you or they've learned you to the point where nobody else is satisfying the need. Okay? Nobody else is satisfying this need. It's like you satisfy this need for this person. Nobody else can do it. They're starting to realize this. And I feel like you and this person are, it looks like y'all are complete opposites, but opposites attract. Okay. I feel like the same thing. It's like the things that drove you so a wedge between the two of you or you, puts you so far away from this person is actually something that you're finding out that you like. I heard a random chink of, um, coins. behind me okay i don't know if y'all heard that or if it picked up on this but i don't know why they're over here chinking coins over here okay um i feel like th look the connection the connection is real you're re realizing that that was your person after leaving them i feel like you might have gone or either you or this other person has gone to other people trying to find the pieces of you in someone else and it's not the same. They can't get it. They can't reach. Like, I'm literally seeing somebody over here going from person to person to person. Hopefully not that many, but you know what I'm saying. There's somebody going person to person and realizing that they're addicted to you. This is definitely someone you separated from. Day and not. It's, it's giving me the energy of somebody has literally, like, they try to look for you in the daytime. 
And it's like they may find someone who is similar to you in appearance, but at night, like when they take off their makeup or when they, I don't know, what do, what do guys do? I don't know. Anyway, when they, when they go and they get down to their authentic self or when you're like alone with them and it's just you and them, it's not the same. Somebody is literally out here searching for you and someone else. They're addicted to you. Sleepless nights. I'm also getting something about someone coming through. Like somebody was trying to hurt. I don't like, I feel like somebody was literally thinking that they were going to try to marry someone who was similar to you. Okay, some like I feel like there's somebody here who you've connected with who like they want to settle down. They want to be with someone um, long term or they think they do. I feel like they've gone and gotten with someone else who may be similar to you or trying to be. But it's like I heard that feeling you just can't shake. That's what's what's going on right now. That's what's going on right now. Whether this is you or them. I feel like somebody's getting mad. Whether this is you or them, don't come for me if it's you, though. <laughs> Somebody's so upset, y'all. Don't get mad. Get glad. Okay, I'm also going to get glad. Take the trash out. Your trash is overflowing, and your place is a hot mess, okay? Um, if it's not you, it's them. But I'm definitely seeing that there's somebody here. It's like literally having one night stands trying to find you and someone else. Why are we picking up on this energy? Or is you? Mm, take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. Once again, these are general messages. I don't want to hear it. <clears throat> but I'm definitely seeing there's somebody here who is possibly struggling with a drug addiction. Because they can't get you off their mind. Somebody is literally trying to self-medicate in order to... Oh, this is messy, y'all. There's somebody here trying to self-medicate to, oh my God, this person is with this individual. They're trying to self-medicate to keep themselves in this relationship or in this partnership or still with this person. This person doesn't realize the similarities that your person is seeing in them. They don't realize that that's what this person's done. I'm seeing somebody literally, it's like um, going to be intimate <laughs> You know, and um, they said your name. Oh, dear. They said your name. This is about to get gnarly. <laughs> they said your name. Somebody was under the influence. This is somebody that you've connected with. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in your reading. There's somebody here you were connecting with. Okay. Like, I feel like this is somebody from your past who is, like, dead set on finding you in someone else. Um, you're going to notice, you're going to know who I'm talking about if you look on their social media and it's like similar similarities. Like, this is someone who, let, I'm just going to give an example. It's like they may not date outside of their race, but they did when they dated you. And then they continued to, you know, after y'all separated, they got back with their race. And now they're back with someone who looks like you. But they're trying to be secretive with it. They're trying to be secretive with this person that they have chosen now. Okay? I'm also getting this hint of trying to make you jealous. Trying to make you angry. Trying to see if you care. Ooh, boy. This is about to be bad. They can't stop thinking about you. But there is something about something that just occurred, like a tower moment in this person's life. This is, if you was wondering if this person ever really felt, dude, they was addicted to you and you had no idea. They're trying to make this other woman, like the woman that they're with now, your enemy. She has no idea. She has no idea. Okay, why is this showing up in Sagittarius's reading? What's going on, Sagittarius? Eight of Swords. 
three of swords. Come on now. Underneath it all. Okay. What's not seen is victory. Okay. So, I don't know what this shift has been. But we're definitely picking up on energies that are, it's almost like you were blind to this person's true motives, what this person really wanted. I feel like there may have been some conflict that you've been dealing with recently or that's been stirred up within you. Okay. Like, I feel like if, if you've picked up something random, like a random addiction as well, I'm seeing you may literally have picked up a random addiction because you're still, you've still got some tie to this person. Okay. This person is not trying to think about you. We're getting, over, like, somebody's over here self-medicating to not think about you. You've been picking up on this energy recently. This is why this is showing up in your energy. For those of you who are confused at why you're feeling this way, it's because it's you're picking up on this. I feel like there's something about the other woman, though. This is definitely a third-party situation, even if you're not dealing with this person anymore. It's the fact that your energy is still in their, like... You're still in this person's energy while they're trying to go and have some kind of committed relationship or partnership. Now, this person knows about you. The person that they tried to turn into you knows about you. And that person is pissed. I'm just letting you know, okay? Just in case you wasn't aware. Because some of you definitely weren't. Like, you had no idea. Okay? Uh, she knows now. She knows it ain't just them. She was wondering why the conversation or communication feels stuck. <clears throat> she knows now. Okay? Some of you may have had a little rendezvous with the past thing. A past boo thing. Alright? Um, I feel like... <laughs> yeah... It's not the same. I feel like you, you're you realizing like, what was I doing? There's something about what was I doing? Or what was this about? Somebody's mad. I feel like they're just warning you to be aware that somebody is now aware of your presence. If you were participating in a third party um, situation. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Um, this person knows and they're angry. Okay, in some way they feel like you are trying to take something for, from them or that they're at a loss in some type of way. Okay, Reaper energy. This is something that it's like they weren't aware. They had no idea that they were, they were the third party. I feel like this is also, I'm also getting an energy coming up. Like this person may not have even, it's like they didn't know about you. You may also be getting some news come in about someone here who has been addicted to you. They left you to go be, or they didn't leave you. Let me, let me rephrase it. I feel like you left this person at one point in time. This feels like a past thing. It's like you closed out a situation and left someone who was obsessed with you or in love with you. You might not have known the level of obsession that this person had on you from your past. Like you had no idea. You didn't realize like what this person was actually offering you. This cup of love that they were offering you was actually worth something. Like this person wanted to come through and invest in you. But I feel like you may have like chunked it up to a one night stand or um, it's only about sex. I feel like there's something about you didn't take this person. You didn't take them seriously. I feel like somebody offered you something in your past and you didn't take them seriously. Okay. And you left this person, like you left them, like I feel like you may have, I don't even feel like you may have had a kid with this person or you may have um, just had your own kid and was hooking up with somebody and like they got attached and you were kind of in this, this person can't really be attached to me energy. You left this person out in the cold. You left this person. There's something about you leaving a situation Okay, this person that you left, though, it's like you may not have seen them as a real candidate. Somebody in your past, you didn't see them as a real candidate. But now you're starting to like, it's like you separated from this individual. Both of you went off and did your own thing. And you realize it's absolutely ghetto out here. Seriously. I feel like the energy around today 
is you're really in your head about a decision that you made. You're, you're like you're really going back and forth on a reconciliation with this individual. Okay, you had no idea how addicted this person was to you. I feel like they moved on to someone else. They may have even got married an individual, the prototype. Oh, they weren't the original though. Y'all, oh, this person's mad. It's like they may have gotten with this individual but still felt empty. They kept watching you. Even at a distance, this person was still keeping an eye on you. Oh, that's really fucked up. I just got like a serious download. Like it all makes sense. It all makes sense. There is somebody here who you walked away from. This person was head over heels in love with you. You didn't accept an offer or you didn't want them. You made them feel like you didn't want them. They felt like they had no other choice but to kind of keep going. It had them mentally conflicted. That like thinking that you weren't, didn't like, there's something about you stayed in their energy, you stayed in their heart. Even though you did not want them, they moved forward. Somebody definitely moved forward. Okay. And they, they wanted to settle down. They wanted a commitment. But they jumped into a relationship with somebody that they didn't really know mentally. This person, like, that is a shit show. I'm just saying. They jumped into a relationship with someone who was similar to you in appearance. Okay? They tried to make this person you and live out fantasies that they had with you. Oh, my God. But they said your name, y'all. They said your name when they were hooking up. I say they. They both. Ooh. 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 Oh. Some of y'all. But um, there's definitely a situation where somebody um literally said your name during sex. Oh, my God. And, it, like, that set with this, this energy is, like, the person who heard it, who's figuring out that this this person was using them. Oh, they're mad. They're mad. And you are, if you haven't, depending on your timeline when you're hearing this, this person is going to be a fucking nightmare. I'm just letting you know. But I feel like you and this person have gone up on two separate journeys. I feel like you both think about each other from time to time because you both know it's a... Um, Twin flame, soulmate type energy. Like, you know that you, that's your person. And, and you, like, it's like you're realizing that that's your person, but you're with somebody else trying to make this person your person. And the other one is alone. Somebody is pretending to be something that they're not. One of these energies is pretending to be something that they're not. But I, I feel this energy of a lot of conflicts and a lot of anger and not feeling like they're enough. So this person has found out, knows that they weren't this person's main. They know that they're not the one that this person actually loves. Somebody's putting two to two, two and two together. Uh, I'm also getting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So this person may try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. Oh, boy. Okay, so what's going to happen with the situation since it's coming up now? They know, Sagittarius. They know. If you have been um, kind of conflicted, yeah, they know. They didn't know, but they know now. And all they're doing is fighting. All they're doing is fighting. Like, trying to figure out where do we go from here. Energy. What's about to happen with the situation? Somebody's realizing that they're not the main. What's about to happen? 
happen with the situation. <laughs> Drama, run up, get done up. Somebody wants to fight. We've got expectations that popped out. Somebody thought that a relationship was going to be more than it was and found out that it's it's nothing. Somebody's realizing we've got bad health that's also coming out. Okay, so I'm also with bad health. I'm seeing eight minus three. That would be five. Five of um, swords is conflict, bad health, mental health, mental issues. Somebody can't like can't get it's like not being able to get out of it. Can't see their way through the situation, expecting things to get better, or hoping things get better, but they don't. What's about to happen with the situation? I guess I need to hit on all three parties, don't I? Why not? Because y'all are all out here. Okay, let's hit on the other woman. What's what's? How is this other woman going to respond to finding out? I say the other woman. Let me break it down for y'all. Okay, so your person has left, or had you had left this person. They got into another relationship. How is the one who's finding out that they're not the main going to respond? To this situation, this dynamic. That's way too many. But I'm seeing Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, Spying. How is this person going to respond? Take that one. Okay. The one who's finding out that she's not the main. She's going to try to get pregnant. Or try to go through with some kind of binding agreement. Okay. The one who's finding out that they are the prototype is still trying to figure out a way to get your person to commit to them. Like I'm literally seeing, they think that the only way... Is to trap your person. Some kind of trap. They're trying to figure out how to trap your person. The one who's found out that they're not the main. What about their person? How is their person going to respond? To the situation, this event. <laughs> The moon was not seen. Okay, so the person here who is realizing in this time that it was never the one that they're with. It's like they knew that it was you, how they're going to respond to whatever dynamic is taking place. They're, they're wanting you to know that they, they've left her to leave the door open. I'm going to leave the door open. I feel like this person is always, you're going to know who this is because they've always left an opening for you to kind of slide right on in that. They're still responding to you. If you reach out to them, they'll find a way to respond to you is what I'm getting. Oh boy. Okay. They're trying to figure out how to get out of a dynamic with, but, but they know that this person is mentally unstable. They know that this person is crazy. They want to leave this situation as easy as possible. There may already be a child involved. But they're scared of the repercussion. But they're leaving. This person is leaving. It's like packing light and kind of sliding out of there. Almost look like third party situation. Trying to not be seen, not be heard, kind of sneak on out. <laughs> this is giving me running away. Somebody's literally trying to sneak out of the situation. Ooh, shedding light on that. Okay, let's see. What are you? <laughs> Look, what is your response going to be in the situation that you're <laughs> you're dealing with? What is your response? I say, what's your responsibility? King of Pentacles. Oh dear. Four of Cups. 
Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> Sagittarius. <laughs> mm, what's not seen is I feel like you are causing a major shakeup in someone's life right now. A major shakeup. Okay. I feel like you are not really wanting to be part of a third party situation or dynamic. Um, I feel like there is something coming out in this time. It's like whatever this, this knowledge is the fact that you're the person that they wanted to choose, but they went a different way because you didn't want them then. You're circling back around because you realize it's ghetto out here and that like, you know, I don't, you know, realizing you don't like the other options you have. Like, I don't know what kind of expectations you have, but I'm getting that they may have been a little warped. I feel like you are realizing, I heard hindsight's 2020, but I feel like you're realizing, oh, damn, I chose wrong in this time. And I feel like you're causing a tower moment in someone else's life because you're realizing who your person actually was. Okay. And this is kind of giving me runaway energy. I heard runaway bribe, but I'm getting like runaway. I feel like you've got somebody who is obsessed with you, who's been waiting for you to give them the opportunity. They want to run away with you. They want to leave some kind of financial obligation behind or legal. I feel like they're trying to figure out how to get out of it or out of some kind of contract or agreement. How are you feeling about this, though? The fact that you are the... I'm not going to say you're the problem. <laughs> Ooh, you're the catalyst, though. Page of Wands, all right? In some way, this person is going to communicate this to you, possibly within the next week, week and a half. You're going to start seeing... Um, somebody's literally, like... You didn't realize you put them on them on it like on them like this, but you really did. Okay. Um, this person's gonna communicate to you their true feelings. Uh, I feel like you need to be ready because this person is about to come through and give you a truth about a situation. Like you may already, um, this person may have already left that individual, and like you're finding all this out. Like you may not have known that the third party, your baby mama why the person hated you so much <laughs> you're about to have the truth really exposed to you on on the whole thing it's like stuff that you didn't understand um like if this person was rude to you you didn't understand why this person was so rude to you um it's because they're they figured out that like this person like the, your person was never really into them and they are feeling used okay Look, I guess I'm just giving giving you some sharing some clarity about a situation because it really depends on what um, timeline you're on because everybody's on different timelines. This is a general message, you guys. Um, but I feel like there's like the pieces of the puzzle is all coming together for you in this time to where you're fully getting to see <laughs> what has really been going on, seeing everybody's mental in this situation like they're where they stand but i feel like your person is going to be coming clean to you in the next week to two weeks okay again these are timeless readings when you see this is when you're meant to see it don't forget to like the video for good karma love you guys bye